We be tubbing. Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. Today we're gonna do an update on the pond system and unveil these pond for you. Take the tops off and everything and what the? Getting really tired of walking out of my door and seeing this. This is not a con trail. That's a chem trail and that's a chemical sky. Yeah. Getting sick of it. Spraying us like cattle. Anyways, on to the fish. Yeah, this is not normal and it's not right. They really gotta knock it off. Oh my goodness, I just looked over here. See that? Those aren't natural clouds at all. Clouds! The they, they do this all the time too. Clouds. It's not just a day. They do it all the, all the time. Anyways, we're here for fish. It's time to finally open these up. Usually when they're spraying heavy like this right yeah. now, I try not to come outside, but yeah. I really want to take these off. But man, that's that's yeah. almost the worst I've seen it in a long time. What's wrong, bud? That is spreading fast too. Like this was only literally a matter of seconds. Not even a minute. But you can see the ripples, how they're rippled. Ripple. That's actually from frequencies. Ripple. Radio waves. Ripple. That cause it to ripple and frequent and give it frequencies like that. Kinda like the wave would be on a Ripple. sonar. Oh yeah, there goes the there goes the big chemtrail trailer laying down right there, double cool. double spread. Ready? What? And you can see where he just started the chemtrail trail too. He didn't start from the beginning. It's not an altitude thing either. I've seen planes driving by the same way of flying by, and one not leave chemtrail trail and one does. You can definitely see how they're just laying them where they want. The pattern, tic tac toe, the whole sky. That ain't normal. At all. See, so just did it in that little slither. And it's not dissipating. Contrail would have dissipated. A lot quicker. You see the actual cloud going across it, creating an X. Skies don't do that. Clouds never created X's. Let's go check. Yeah, go. Oh, and just turn back around. I had to pop no. back on here. Look at this. Look how much this has already changed. See that down there? That's a normal oh, no. that's a normal cloud. That's a normal sky. This is not normal. Look at that. There's like a circle too, look at this. See that circle? All right, anyways, let's get these tops off this pond. I don't have a whole lot of daylight going because the regular rain clouds are starting to take over. Get these off here. Yes, you do. Did you get those rocks clean? Yeah! Thank you, sir. Let's go. I just store the I just store the tops here underneath my deck next to the sump. Which isn't running. I haven't had that running pretty much all winter. Just to keep the heat in. Alright, so I got the tops off finally. Freaking excited about it. But there's a lot of things to do this year as far as pond and tubbing goes because i've got to get these off my deck it needs restained and it's actually sagging a bit you can kind of see where it's pulled away a little bit but it's bowing a little bit i've got extra footers underneath here on pressure points but 
they're not on the right pressure points like there's one right here and the footer is actually sticking up a little bit you can kind of see a little bow this whole deck needs work there's just too many projects that needs to be done like this is barely on here i've got to reconnect that that's just kind of hanging there which isn't good that's where we first walk out so that should be supported so i gotta get these off of here the only problem is i only other place i got the tub is in here which I got to take down these trees. I was planning on doing something with this area anyways. Which I don't really want to take down these trees. But I want to get enough light. I may leave one. I may leave two. Probably plant shorter trees or something. But I need to do a flat area back there. But between all the other projects I have going. I'm going to be hard pressed to even get this. Because now I'm looking at, now I'm looking at this deck over here. That's going to be a little work and also staining it and all that and even just moving these up and off of here but i can't really move these up and off until i have somewhere to put them and i don't really have that much storage underneath the deck i don't know we'll see i got a lot to think about with it i was trying to beat the rain looks like i did not make it in time but let's go ahead and have a look in here it is raining is rain fun but here we got a corkscrew barrel. There's my son. He's got to hurry up, go inside. Ton of corkscrew valve. So with this algae, this algae is so easy to get rid of. You just pull it out. You can see now all that's left is a nice carpet corkscrew valve. Which this stuff will take over. There's actually a bunch of rainbow fish. You like the rain, Wesley? Yeah. All right, and a big reason why, and there's Sparky, he wanted to make a cameo too. A big reason why I wanted to get these off today is because it's supposed to rain for the next few days. So hopefully that'll add a lot of softer water. I really wanted to do tetra breeding this year out here. Get some rasboras maybe. And do this uh, mesh breeding basket method here. Here's the uh, golden white clouds. I actually had them over here. And you guys saw in some of the later videos. I did a video maybe like 10, 15 videos back. A live stream showing what was going on with the tops on it a little bit. This is the actual update with the unveiling. And they were in here. And I ended up putting them in that basket, which is new. And quiet, please. I used to use this, but they kept slipping up and out of this little corner here. And I tried putting this on top, keeping them from doing it. They still did it anyway. So, I had to re-engineer the whole breeding basket method. And the only thing I did was modify it a little bit by dropping the styrofoam a little below the edge. So, now they had to jump up over that net to even get out. And I've never had, and I haven't had any issues with it so far. But these fish are really cool. I'm hoping they lay some babies in here. Nice coloration to them. They're like, hey, what's going on? That's not cool. But yeah, nice little breeding basket. And then here, I ended up moving the rainbow fish just because I was just so ready to. I wanted to get them inside. I wanted to get them in QT. They ended up being Cali Rums, but if, if you look in there, there's a ton of little babies in there. A ton of little babies everywhere. So in here, there's nothing. This one was having temperature issues. It was staying cold during the winter. And I, and I had the golden white clouds in there since it was colder and they did all right. So now these are open, but at the same time, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Hey, look at this. Awesome. Cool. Cool. So there we have some golden white cloud fry. That's exciting to see. So they have been doing their thing in here. Awesome. Huh. All right, we're back. Battery died. Wesley's doing some gardening, filling up the fountain. So hopefully he stays busy. Oh, look at that. His sun came out for us. 
and I ended up clearing out a lot of the algae here. Yay, sunny. But yeah, I cleared out a lot of the algae here. Oh, and you can see it much better. Corkscrew bell all held up pretty well. I figured it would since that's a more native kind of plant. And I did catch some of the fish here. It looks like I got a bunch of dwarf neons in there and I think I got a center fish here that looks like an ornate cross with a dwarf blue neon which should not exist it's very looked down upon to cross breed rainbow fish and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with those guys I've also been finding a lot of really orange shrimp the females are super orange look at that it's a beautiful shrimp. She is fully buried too. So I'm going to have to pull a few of these out. Get my colony of oranges a little boost. Come on out girl. And here you can see the big heater I use. It's a 500 watt. I get it's in the negatives here in Indiana. And I run four of those in here. And one in each tub. You need help? Yeah. Now you can see here it didn't rain too much here. And it's actually a lot clearer now. It looked like it was about to storm. It's actually post the storm since last Friday. And the reason why and the reason why I'm talking about this sky with you guys is because I think this is really important. And it just happened to happen whenever I came out here too. I've known about it's geoengineering what they've been doing for quite some time with the aluminum, barium, and all that stuff. How it's not good for us. We're actually paying for our own demise and for them to spray it up there as taxpayers. Because let's face it, our government won't ever be for the people because there will always be a majority singling out another class of people, vice versa, going same for same for. So it'll never truly be for the people. But I do want to say this, I want to bring awareness to this because the more people who are aware of what's going on with our sky and what they're doing it, I've seen effects on our trees, I've seen effects on the plants, but the more people that we have aware and talking about this, so tell your friends and everything else, that's the only way we can change it, if people are actually talking about it. If the people are talking about it so much that they just can't deny it anymore, which they have admitted doing the geoengineering, but they ain't telling you what it's what they're really doing like what's in it how it's really affecting people and all that stuff but i think it's important i know this isn't the platform or the channel for this but i do have a chat platform and to reach some people so i can if i could at least raise awareness to a few of you guys and open up your guys's eyes to get you guys known and get you guys talking then hey it, it, it hopefully it helps hopefully it helps and you know I'm just I'm tired of seeing it like they sprayed all weekend I don't want to come out when they're spraying real heavy because I know what's in it I don't want to be breathing that in supposedly there's already some disease linked up to it called chem lung and uh, yeah I'm not trying to scare anybody I'm not trying to get you all riled up agitated and all that I'm just trying to bring some knowledge and awareness to you guys so we can help change this like it's got to change I I don't understand it. We do not need chemical skies. Mother Nature has her ways. And you gotta let her do her thing. I don't know what it is with some people. These freaking power hungry mongrels that just want everything. Even the weather. It's insane. But anyways. Alright, now back to these tubs. Now that the sun's on the other side of the house. So you don't get as much reflection. So you can see these babies a lot better you can see in you can see the corkscrew valves already getting red on it a couple of flowers about to butt up from the valve all right so there you have it a uh, nice pond update a little knowledge about what's going on with our world and uh hopefully you guys learned something hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys don't uh disown me for this aluminum foil talk hat conspiracy stuff whatever 
But anyways, anyways, I hope you guys like this. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm coming out with all kinds of new updates, all kinds of new stuff, breeding projects, all kinds of crazy stuff. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Make sure for, make sure those notifications are on. All that jazz. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Thank you.